Hello, my name is Kevin Anderson with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about configuring the multi-level precedence and preemptive service on the AS5300 with the provisioning client. In today's demo, I'll show how to create a multi-level precedence and preemptive service namespace, configure the diffserve code point markings for the MLPP service, create an MLPP profile, assign the MLPP profile to a domain, assign the service to a domain, Configure the global diversion destination, assign an MLPP profile to a user, and remove what we have configured. We'll be starting this demo with the provisioning client open. You can find detailed instructions in the Avaya Aura application server 5300 release 2.0 using the provisioning client guide at the link shown. Now let's get started. And now that we've logged into the provisioning client, in order to configure the MLPP service, we'll need to create a namespace for that service. So we'll go under Services, Privacy and Security, Multi-Level Precedence, and Preemption. And this opens our Multi-Level Precedence and Preemption service portlet. So we'll need to click on the namespace, and we'll create our test namespace. And in this case, I'm just going to call it MLPP uh, Kevin Testing. And for our network domain, we'll use DSN, which is our example domain. And since we already have a precedence domain of 0000, we'll just create a 0001 for this domain. And we'll click on Save. And we get a message back from the system indicating that the namespace was saved successfully, and we can see it down here in our list. If we wanted to uh, modify this or, look, or change this in the future, we could just click on it in the namespace. And that loads our settings back into the upper part of the web page here. And we could make changes and then save any changes we make. From here, we'll need to go to the home and to get back to our tab menu. And we need to go into the diff serve code point marking and uh, basically add our diff serve code point that we want to apply to our namespace. And we need to make sure that it maps directly to our QoS configuration on the network. So we're going to just call the, the diff serve code point uh, DSCP Kevin Testing. We're, we've, we've got two different settings that we'll need to save, uh, one for audio and one for video. And the first one we'll do is just we'll do the audio one. Now these uh, values uh, can be in the range from 0 to 63. And we need to enter values that set the priority for each call, uh, for each call type. So routine is your standard calling, priority, intermediate, and flash, and flash override. And so we'll just set those in an ascending value so that we have flash override as the highest precedence. And uh, I'm just going to start at 30, and that way I'm in the middle of the range, and if I want to go up or down, it's easy for me to do that. So I'll just set this one to 30. And I'll make them f uh, about uh, four apart, and that way if I want to adjust something, I only have to adjust one and don't have to adjust them all. And then I'll save those as my audio settings. And I'll do uh, the video settings as well. So I'll just quickly type those in. And in the namespace, I added the video for this, for this name. Uh, just so that it differentiates it from the audio. Uh, in the list, you'll see the audio type right next to it. But if it's if you're selecting it from another location in the system, it's nice to have the name represent the uh, type of diff cert code point it is because you may not have that available to you in the other menu. And we'll just make these fairly low. So. Um, Uh, I, the last one, I just uh, put it at 28. I don't want to have my audio diff serve code point the same as my video serve code point 
just uh, gives me an ability to have a precedence between those two items rather than having them set at the same. And click on Save. And we get a message indicating that our parameters are saved successfully, and we can see that we have them in the list. Our audio setting, DSCP Kevin testing, and DSCP video Kevin testing. Now that we've created our namespace and our, our differentiated service code points, we'll need to create a system profile that combines the namespace with those code points. We'll click on System Profile. We're going to call our profile MLPP Kevin Testing. And from the namespace, we'll select uh, the Kevin Testing namespace, MLPP Kevin Testing. And our maximum priority, we're going to set flash override as our maximum so that we'll have all of those priorities available in our namespace. The diversion destination. This is uh, where all calls will end up if fail to reach their connection. And this would be a URL or a, a phone number. At this time, uh, I'm not going to enter anything in there. And then under our diff serve audio, we'll enter the Kevin testing. And then under the video, we'll enter the Kevin video testing and then we'll save our profile. And we get a message that our profile was saved successfully and we can actually see it here in our list, MLPP Kevin testing profile. Now that we have our profile created, we can assign it to a domain. So if we just go down in the list and we click on assign and remove, and once the portlet opens, we want to select our domain from the list and we're going to use the dsautosip1.com domain. We just highlight it and then click on copy. That moves it over to our selected domains and click on save. And we get a message from the system indicating that the profile domain list was saved successfully. Now that we have the profile assigned to the domain, we'll need to make sure that the domain has the rights to use the service. So we'll go under Domain, Domain Steps, Assign Services. From here, we're going to use the ds2autosip1.com domain. So we'll click on View. And then we'll want to scroll down to the MLPP service. And for this domain, it's already checked. So we're good to go there. And we'll just click on Save just to make sure. And we get a message back from the system that the service was assigned successfully. And now we need to configure the global diversion DN. So we'll go under Services, Privacy Security, Multi-Level Precedence, and Preemption. Now if you remember, under our profile, I'll just click on the tab here. Under our profile, we did not assign a division destination. And this destination would be used uh, for any calls that are sent to a user who has MLPP configured. So in this case, we're just going to enter in the 1037 user. And so this can be, this is a SIP address. And we'll just uh, save the 1037 user, which we added. And we get a message that we modified our profile successfully. Now you can configure a global division DN in addition to the one we just configured. The system uses the global division destination when a profile is not assigned to the calling party and the diversion must occur. So we click under domain data and we click on our domain and this is the DS2 auto SIP domain. Click on the view. We'll send these to 1038 user instead of the 1037. And then we need to put in the, the proper namespace, and that's the MLPP Kevin testing, and normalize, and we'll click on save. And we get a message that the default data was saved successfully. Now the last thing that we need to do is make sure that our users have the MLPP service assigned to their profile. 
So we can just do a user search from the quick search menu bar here. So I'll just type in the SIP uh, for the 1037 user and click on user search. And then we'll go under services for the 1037 user. Scroll down to the MLPP service. And since uh, we want this user to be have multi-level precedence, we just click on the checkbox and click on save. And we get a message that the profile was saved successfully. Then make sure that you have the service applied to all users who need the MLPP service. And lastly, we'll remove the services from the domain. Firstly, we'll need to remove it from this user that we've just assigned it to. So we'll scroll down to the MLPP. We'll uncheck it and then click on save. And we get a message that our change was saved successfully. So now we'll want to go under services, privacy and security, multi-level precedence and preemption. And under our system profile, we'll want to delete it. So we'll click on system profile, add remove domains first. It won't let us delete if it's already assigned to a domain. So we'll have to remove the domains first. Click on the domain we want to remove, and then click on Remove, click on Save, and then we can click on Delete for our profile. So the MLPP Kevin testing profile, we'll just click on the Delete button. And since this is a service affecting operation, we need to confirm it with the admin password. And we click on Confirm. We get a message that the profile was deleted successfully. And now we'll need to remove the domain, uh, the profile from the domain data. So we click on domain data, ds 2 autosip onecom domain, and we just click on the delete. And service affecting, so we type in the admin password. And we get a message that the default data was, was successfully deleted. And now we want to remove our namespace because it's not assigned to any domains. Click on the namespace tab, find our domain in our namespace in the list, and click on delete. Service affecting, so we have to enter in the admin password. Click confirm. And we get a message from the system indicating that our namespace was deleted successfully. One last thing we need to do is move remove our diff serve code points. And uh, we had two of them, uh, Kevin testing and video testing and we just click on the delete next to it in the list. Once again, service affecting, so we enter in the admin password. Click confirm. And we get a message from the system that the DSCP was removed successfully. And that concludes our demo for today. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentoratavaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.